Hi, my name is Maya Hazlett and I work for Iowa State University Extension and Outreach. And today I'm here at the Northwest Research Farm with some friends um, to teach you guys a little bit about weeds. So what are weeds? Um, weeds are plants, just like the crops you're trying to grow, but they're a plant out of place. A corn plant growing in your soybean field is still a weed. Weeds are a constant problem uh, for farmers. They take uh, nutrients, light, water, um, away from the crop that you're trying to grow. Common weeds such as thistle and crabgrass, um, they have certain characteristics that really allow them to take over and spread. Uh, they produce lots of seeds. Uh, those seeds are able to stay dormant in the soil for a long period of time. Um, and they're able to spread well through uh, wind dispersal and other, other mechanisms. So something that's really important for weed control is to be able to identify your weeds because different weeds require different types of management. So one of the first things to do when trying to identify a weed is determine if it's a monocot or a dicot. So monocots uh, are called that because they have one mono, one um, seed leaf or one cotyledon. Uh, they have certain characteristics that uh, you can use to identify them. So here's an example of a monocot. Monocots have long thin leaves. So you probably recognize this as a type of grass. Uh, and monocots are grasses. So they have long, thin leaves, uh, and the leaves have parallel veins. Uh, another characteristic of monocots is that they have fibrous branching root systems. So you see there's lots of little roots branching off from this plant. Dicots uh, are called that because they have two seed leaves or two cotyledons. And dicots can have many different leaf shapes, but they generally have broader, larger leaves. And so you've probably heard the term broadleaf weeds, and that's why. So here's an example of a dicot or a broadleaf weed. You can see it has larger, sort of rounder leaves. The other thing about the leaves is that the veins on the leaves are branching instead of parallel. Also, uh, dicots have a main tap root um, as compared to that branching uh, root system that we saw with the monocot. Something that I like to use uh, for weed identification is a weed field guide. So this is the weed field guide from Iowa State University. Um, and it has lots of nice color photos and is very helpful for identifying weeds. There's also a lot of online resources uh, and apps um, that you can use. For weeds that are difficult to identify, you can also send samples to the Iowa State Plant and Insect Diagnostic Clinic. So now, you guys, I want you guys to try identifying some weeds. Remember, weed management is important and identifying your weeds is key to weed management. Thank you.